and welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Friday, the 2nd of August, looking at Dolly M, which was a massive mover yesterday. Just such an outlight, outlook changing day that we saw actually with this breakout initially above 109, big figure in the morning in the wake of the Federal Reserve. And then that, out, that breakout just started to dissipate um, throughout the session back under 109 figure, back under 108.35, 108.40, back under 107.50, back under 107.20, and now to test 106.75. It's incredible, the, the, the decline that we've seen in dollar yen in the wake of that um, announcement from Donald Trump that um, he would be imposing the tariffs back on China of uh, 10% on uh, tariffs on $300 billion worth of Chinese imports has significantly changed the outlook once more on dollar yen. We've seen that 106.75 level of support tested today. It hasn't yet broken, but it has been tested and it continues to remain under pressure. Back under 107.20, that is a basis of overhead supply now. You can see that also 107.50 uh, it's a basis of overhead supply as well. So you, you've got a little bit of a sell zone now, 107.20 to 107.50. Um, and rallies are seen as a chance to sell, I think, on Dolly M because um, what we see is this um, decisive move lower. I mean, you couldn't get a more bearish candle than that, pretty much, uh, from the we saw yesterday. But also looking at these momentum indicators, swing back lower with a bear cross on the stochastics. Similarly, bear cross on MACD lines at neutral. RSI 35 still with downside potential. So a closing breach of 106.75 would open sort of 105, 104.50, 105 area with the next initial support 105.65. So yeah, it doesn't look great for Dolly N if that uh, 106.75 level of support gets breached. And uh, I will speak to you later. I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our videos on YouTube and go to our website where you can sign up for our trading webinars. And I've got a uh, non-farm payrolls trading webinar today.